this is a, a post I want to share um, because of something that's happening in Western Washington and it's also happening in Oregon and it came about through I think someone making a comment the other day um, about the, the smoke in uh, Klam or not Klamath Falls but Grants Pass, Oregon on August Hanucki's channel the other day. In fact, just in case people are worried, Oregon and Washington are not in a smoke situation or a fire situation at this point. We're okay. We have some fires, but they're, they're minor in comparison to last fall. And what we're seeing is the smoke plume from Northern California. It's hitting Western, or Western Oregon and Western Washington. In fact, for the next couple of days, we're supposed to clear this out <clears throat> and cool down into by Saturday will be I think in right around 70 69 70 degrees but we'll get some substantial rain out of it as well but the smoke will clear out fortunately as you can see it's not at the surface like it was last September it's all high up in the atmosphere and if anything, there might be some stray clouds helping to filter the sun. But something I want to bring up, and that is Western Washington, and I think Oregon to that extent, because we are a Mediterranean uh, climate, we tend to be very dry during the summer months. Typically, Western Washington, Puget Sound region starts drying out sometimes as early as May but we typically don't do that until late June, early July. And as a result, by August, we're looking a little dusty, a little dry, parched, as you can see by my grass. That is crab grass, and for some reason, it just stays green for whatever reason. But otherwise, yeah. You're seeing moss, dead moss, and then you see the dandelions. I need to thatch this yard badly, but that's neither here nor there at this point. Basically by August, we're, we're parched. And it, that parchedness doesn't leave us until the, about the middle of September at the earliest, when the rainy season typically tends to start. But by October, you can pretty much guarantee rain pretty much from there until April before we start drying out again but as a result um, we're very dry during the summer and it depends on how much moisture we get during the year if we don't get enough moisture we can start drying out as early as May and last year or this this past year we had more than enough moisture and and above uh, reservoirs and we and the uh, moisture content level was higher than usual so we are doing okay i didn't start really browning up until sometime in july um, at least it wasn't obviously turning brown that is until i had my grass cut while I was un still recovering, re recuperating and recovering from surgery. And the minute he cut the grass, you could tell it was already drying out and it's gotten drier since. So when I do cut the grass, I'm just mostly cutting the dandelions, which kind of keeps things looking okay. Um, but the point is, this is very, very, very typical very, very typical of us. And as a result, um, what you see, all of this tinting of the sun, this reddish tint, typically happens in um, August through September before the rainy season hits. And with that, you have a situation where 
things can look a little dry, a little reddish um, during the late summer. And it's really obvious that we're into late summer now because it's we're into early August. But the upshot of the whole thing is this is not atypical um, for this area. We have what's known as the Mediterranean climate, which means very wet during the winter, but very dry during the summers. So as a result of that, um, what you're seeing is just a smoke plume from southern or from north, I think mostly northern California at this point, um, filtering the sun a little more than usual right now. Like I said, we're supposed to clear out this, the next four days. We're supposed to have cooler temperatures and wetter weather coming in. So anyway, I wanted to share um, just, you know, what's going on and that no, we are not in a, in a major you know, forest fire situation like last September. Okay, I just want to share with you, um, this is what's looking like right now on July 13th, or excuse me, August 13th, 2021. As you can see, the sun is looking mighty red and it's that way for a reason. And that is we're having smoke. As you can probably see, it's looking pretty smoky. It's actually closer to the surface, more so than last weekend. But <clears throat> this is mostly smoke coming from uh, British Columbia now. And <laughs> Fresca, no. Anyway, what ultimately happened is this weekend, this is very, going to be very short. Fresca, hush. It's going to be um, the, the whole smoke situation is going to be um, short lived in the fact that it um, we we're supposed to start getting some uh, onshore, fl onshore flow air wind flow this weekend and we're supposed to start clearing out and cool down by next week. So what we're looking at is today or yesterday, today, and maybe a little bit first thing in the morning before we start clearing out, we were supposed to hit low uh, mid nineties, but because of the smoke, we only hit, I think low nineties here in, in, in the Tacoma area, Puget Sound area. So we didn't get quite as warm as we would have because the sun is, for one thing, it's weaker now than it was a month ago. And two, it's lower in the sky, as you can see. And three, it's a little bit further north because to the right of where you're looking at is, is to the north. It's sort of northwest, actually. My house isn't what I call, what I call true north-south. It's more like northwest southeast in orientation. Anyhow, it um, I'm in the backyard right now, <clears throat> so that's what you're seeing. And the sun being in the sky is actually more of an angle now, and so naturally the sky is going to turn a little bit more yellow, red to red, depending on the situation. Anyway. Just wanted to share with you this. This is short lived. It'll be done before the weekend's done and we'll be back to pretty much normal. Cooler temperatures, meaning back into the mid to upper 70s, which is normal for this time of year. Probably the last of the heat wave, hurrah. We were supposed to get like 95 to 99, somewhere in there, depending on where you were in Western Washington. But the upshot is we only made the low 90s, maybe mid 90s in certain areas, but that's about the extent of it. And this is probably the last hurrah of the real heat waves as we start to cool down heading into September. Anyway, that's that. It's been a couple of weeks since uh, we had the smoke that blew in from uh, Canada as well as from California. We didn't really get it too bad this time around. It's just mostly up in the upper atmosphere. 
But as you can see now, we're getting toward the end of um, August, and um, as a result, the um, the uh, the sun is is still tinted a little bit, but it's because it's low in the sky. Um, as we get into June, July, the sun is still pretty high, but as we're getting into close to September, it starts getting low in the sky, and so what you're seeing now is sort of that watery look that comes with the sun being low in the sky and having to travel longer through more of the atmosphere, and so it gets a combination of being bent as well as the dust and everything else, and while I'm here, I'm going to show you tomatoes. Yeah, tomatoes. Like that. And like those. And over here. Yeah, three bushes. These are heirloom tomatoes. I'm not 100% certain of their um, variety, but I think they're a choika, cho uh, or something like that is a Russian name. But it could be something else. Unfortunately, the seed packet that I bought doesn't say what they are because they could be any, any um, heirloom tomato um, variety. Anyway, decided to share that since I was back here in the backyard and as you can see, um, the uh, the sun is is out. It's not very warm. We actually had earlier in the week uh, temperatures dropped down to the low 50s, and right now I think last night we were in the mid 50s, and we're only looking for maybe 80 degrees if we're lucky. Uh, more likely mid to upper 70s is, is where we're at these days. So, as you can see, everything was looking normal and all of that. That is normal sky. So, it's morning. It's about 9 o'clock maybe. If we're, or I think it is about 9 o'clock. Anyhow, um, mid-morning so yes this is the way things look normally and um, decided I give an update and um, anyhow that's that in the next 10 days or so we will be expected to cool down with 70s much of this week but by next week we'll drop into the 60s mostly mid 60s for the high and the low around the upper 40s to 50 degrees, with the exception of some showers one afternoon, mostly dry and mostly to partly cloudy throughout the period. So if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button, and if you want to subscribe, please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified. It'll do this channel a world of good, and I'll see you on the next one.